तर रेस्पिरेशनचा शेवटचा भाग आपल्याला सुरू करायचा आहे आणि तो म्हणजे एट पॉईंट फाईव्ह मॉडिफाईड रेस्पिरेटरी मुवमेंट्स आणि एट पॉईंट सिक्स कॉमन डिसऑर्डर्स ऑफ रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टीम सम रेस्पिरेटरी मुवमेंट्स आर डिफरंट दॅन नॉर्मल That means beyond expiration and expira- inspiration or breathing and mechanism of respiration, there are some uh, movements are uh, different. These help to express emotions or clear the air passage. Emotions, you know very well. Um, you can see uh, the feeling like uh, complete wellness or. laughing then crying during which the water can pass out through the tears and so on so emotions and to clear the air passage these are some modified respiratory movements and they include almost all the reflexes and some are the voluntary फॉर एक्झाम्पल कफिंग योनिंग कफिंग म्हणजे खोकला येणं योनिंग म्हणजे जांभई देणं बोथ ऑफ देम दे आर व्हॉलेंटरी रिफ्लेक्सेस अँड दे आर असोसिएटेड विथ रेस्पिरेटरी मुवमेंट रिमेंबर द एक्झाम्पल्स ऑफ दिस मॉडिफाईड रेस्पिरेटरी मुवमेंट सो दॅट मच इज प्रेझेंट ओनली इन एट पॉईंट फाईव्ह now we'll go to the last one that is 8.6 common disorders of respiratory system uh, there are total eight some disorders are given in our textbook there is one chart is given so we'll learn that chart by four columns name of disorder the symptoms respectively causes and treatment the first disorder given in our textbook is emphysema the emphysema symptom is breakdown of alveoli and shortness of breath during this disorder the alveoli are broken down and that's why the easy gaseous exchange does not occur proper gaseous exchange does not occur at alveolus that means transport of o2 and transport of co2 and due to which the breath becomes short and this symptom causes or shows emphysema why did that this disorder or disease occur that is due to over smoking for example cigarette weed and air pollution you know very well uh, today we are facing uh, the lots of problems of this air pollution so due to high air pollution due to smoking the emphysema may occur the treatment is quit smoking quit smoking means do not smoke smoking band kara quit mein sodun diya so quit smoking and avoid air pollution right so that is about emphysema then chronic bronchitis the symptom is coughing then shortness of breath cause is same smoking air pollution treatment is same quit smoking avoid air pollution third is acute bronchitis actually this disease or disorder is related with inflammation of alveoli or bron- inflammation of bronchi not alveoli inflammation of bronchi and a shortness of breath occur a uh, side by side yellow mucus is also start releasing from uh, bronchi and trachea also the cause is different the cause is due to infection of bacteria or viruses so to kill bacteria or viruses take antibiotics or cough medicines then next is sinusitis you know very well sinuses are present inside our face region actually in our skull region the air spaces are present these are known as sinuses and these sinuses are 
uh, gets inflamed, swayed, then mucus start filling into the sinuses and create the disorder sinusitis. And this is due to again bacteria or viruses. The treatment is same, take antibiotics or cough medicines. Next is laryngitis. Remember TRS, TRS means inflammation, TT cell, swelling. Maybe bronchitis, maybe sinusitis, maybe laryngitis. TITIS means TTS, means inflammation. Inflammation to larynx. So, inflammation of larynx is the symptom. Vocal cords, sore throat, etc. So, these are some of the symptoms seen under laryngitis disorder. Cause is same. Infection of bacteria and viruses. Treatment is same. That means take antibiotics, take cough medicines. Next one is most important and severe known as pneumonia. Pneumonia is inflammation of lungs. Remember. Because of infection of bacteria and viruses. When, when lungs inflamed, gets swelled, that is a severe condition. For example, nowadays we are... Uh, Pressing to COVID-19. You know very well. So, that virus enters inside the, first of all in upper respiratory tract and then goes into lower respiratory tract. That means up to lungs level. That, and that when any kind of virus, any kind of bacteria, when enters up to lung level, immediately consult physician. Immediately consult physician and take um, antibiotics and cough medicines. Then asthma. Asthma means constriction of bronchioles, causes pollen grains, food additives or pet hairs. For example, you are uh, having a good feelings about your pets. You are liking pets like um, cats, dogs, etc. The hair falls in our house and due to that hairs, when they get inhaled inside our respiratory system, they cause asthma. So use inhalants. Treatment is use inhalant. Inhalant means, you know very well, uh, a pump. You are familiar with a uh, pump of asthma. The last one is disorder uh, related to occupation. For example, silly process and asbestosis. The workers who are working in the uh, industry where silicon is produced, where asbestos is produced, that workers may suffer from this disorder, silly process and asbestosis. Uh, the symptom is inflammation of lungs and fibrosis. Long term, Cause because long term exposure to dust particles of silicon and asbestos because they are working into that industry. So while working, treatment is use protective mask. Right? So learn complete this table. Names of all disorder, their respective symptoms, their causes and their treatments. Maybe ask for one mark for a MCQ or for ultimately. Uh, another way write note on etc. So here we complete 8.6 Now we will go to the last in the 8.6 and that is and that is when artificial ventilation artificial RT, RT, facial ventilation. What is mean by artificial ventilation? Now you are familiar with this artificial ventila ventilation that the breathing occurs or breathing can, breathing can occur carry out, you can say carry out, carry out artificial, 
artificially through ventilators through ventilators that is called as artificial ventilation to avoid due to drawing draw especially choking suffocation electric shock etc when breathing stops due to these reasons maybe drawing choking suffocation electric shocks the patients are uh, supplied with or treated with artificial ventilation they are uh, put on the ventilators the breathing is carried out through artificial machine that artificial machine is known as ventilators so that is by two ways established and maintained an open air passage from upper respiratory tract to lungs two ways are there upper respiratory tract and second is forced inspiration forced inspiration and expiration through lungs through lungs so this upper respiratory tract that means uh, from nose to trachea or bronchi establish and maintain an open air space from upper respiratory tract to lungs or up to lungs also up to lungs also and forceful inspiration and expiration this forceful inspiration and expiration occurs up to lungs up to lungs through mouth to mouth mouth to mouth so that mouth by mechanical means of ventilators so ventilator is actually a supportive machine and this supportive machine is used during surgery used during surgery operations or severe lung diseases severe lung diseases the best example now is covid 19 today is facing we are facing to covid 19 so as a life support system life support system thus ventilators are useful so this work of ventilator the ventilator works by three ways one get oxygen into lung second remove co2 from lung and third one is help breathing help breathing right so in that way that is the three works of ventilator get oxygen into lungs remove co2 from lungs and help breathing clear so that is called as artificial ventilation clear so this is the last point of our respiration topic and there which we have studied what is meant by artificial ventilation the breathing can be carried out artificially through one machine known as ventilator these ventilators are used this machine is used when patient is drawing or shows drawing or choking or suffocation or electric shocks etc in that cases uh, or during surgery also or during severe lung diseases like covid 19 etc this ventilators are used it is uh, it takes or it is a uh, carried out through two steps specially upper respiratory tract 
from nose to bronchi and up to lungs again and forceful inspiration and expiration up to lungs through mouth to mouth by machine also this ventilator works three ways get oxygen inside into lungs remove co2 from lungs and help breathing the patient is help for breathing so here we complete this respiration topic right so learn it i will send you the notes solve the exercise given below the text or inside the text under exercise the many questions are there solve that questions and uh, write the notes again in your notebook draw the diagrams maintain the drawing no drawing notebook so that uh, we can check out when we come again 